Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to resolve an issue where your computer is booting up and it might say that the operating system was not found, or you might just be experiencing this issue in general all of a sudden out of the blue. So in this brief tutorial I'm going to be walking through and hopefully quick troubleshooting method that you guys can do to hopefully find your operating system. So this is going to require some external media so for the purpose of this video, you're going to have to download the Windows 10 ISO file and burn it to a CD or a DVD or a USB flash drive depending on what you prefer. Typically I prefer the CD or DVD method. So this can be done through the media creation tool that is still available through Microsoft. This has been available for the last couple of years as many of you guys might have upgraded to Windows 10 through this media creation tool. So instead of upgrading this computer or this PC, you're going to want to create an external media installation package for another device. And I have made other tutorials, or actually several tutorials in the past of burning it to a CD or DVD. And then basically once you've had this CD or DVD burnt, you can go over to whatever computer you're experiencing this issue with and you want to boot that computer to the CD or DVD. Again, I've made videos about that as well. So if you need to go and figure out how to burn the Windows 10 ISO to a CD or DVD, or you need to find out how to load your computer to a CD or DVD, then I would recommend stopping this tutorial here. Go check out my other videos that I have made in the past about how to do that. And then we're going to jump in primarily with actually fixing the operating system. We're not going to go through all those steps because this video would be four hours long. So to cut down on the time, we're going to just jump right to the point in which you have the external media saved and we are ready to boot our computer to it. So we're going to start and just jump right into it. Okay, so once I'm on my boot menu, and almost every computer is going to have different key shortcuts to getting to the boot menu so the reason why I'm not saying how to do it in this video is because yours is probably not going to be the same way mine works it usually be one of the function keys or escape key or something like that just if you were curious but I digress so for the boot menu I'm gonna go down to something that says CD-ROM drive because I already have it put into our CD-ROM drive I mean, it sounds pretty obvious, but you want to make sure you boot to the right drive here. Okay, so once you've selected our CD-ROM, I'm going to just press any key to boot from our CD or DVD. Okay, so now that we're underneath Windows Setup, what we want to do is head over and click on Next once you've selected our language. So just keep in mind, we're not actually reinstalling Windows here, but we're using the Windows 10 installation media as a back way of troubleshooting our issue. So I'm going to click on Next. And now once we're at this window, so instead of clicking on Install Now, you want to go to the bottom left where it says Repair Your Computer, and left-click on that. So underneath Choose an Option, left-click on Troubleshoot, Reset Your PC, or see Advanced Options. Left-click on that. Now you want to left click on the command prompt tile at the top right where it says use the command prompt for advanced troubleshooting. So left click on that. Now you want to type in disk, D-I-S-K, part, P-A-R-T, all one word, disk, part, and then you want to hit enter on your keyboard. So now once we're underneath the disk part subdirectory, we're going to type in list. Now there's going to be two words here. So the first word's going to be list, L-I-S-T, space, volume. So list, volume. And then you want to hit enter on your keyboard. Okay, so now comes the important part. You want to select the volume that contains our operating system. 
So there's a few things you can kind of figure out pretty quickly on how to determine this. Now, assuming most of you guys do not have several partitions here, it should not be very difficult to find out. So typically, it will be a partition. It will not say DVD-ROM. It will also not have a system reserve label or an ESD ISO, which it happens to be what we are booting off of right now. That's why it says that, because this is in our DVD or CD-ROM drive. So we can see that the 39 gigabyte hard drive that is an NTFS file type appears to be our most likely candidate to be our main hard drive here. And the reserve partition is only about 500 megabytes, so you can kind of figure out by looking at it which one is the one we're going to be working off of. So in my case, which is probably not going to be the same in your case, but I'm just giving you guys fair warning on that, it's probably going to be volume 2 for me. So what I'm going to do is now select that volume. So what I'm going to do is type in select, so one word, select, space, volume, another space, and now in my case I'm going to type in the number 2, don't spell it out, just type the number 2, or in your case it could be 1, it could be 3, 4, 5, it could be any number, but I just want you guys to understand that it might be different in your case. So once you've done that, you're going to hit enter. Now you want to type in active, so A-C-T-I-V-E, just one word, active, and then you want to hit enter on your keyboard again. It should say this part mark the current partition as active. Now you want to do is type in assign, so A-S-S-I-G-N, assign, and then hit enter. Then it should say this part successfully assigned the drive letter or mount point. And once you've done that, all you need to do now is just type exit. Or you click on the X at the top right corner of this window, whichever you prefer. And we're going to just exit out of here. We're going to be leaving this part. And then once you're done doing that, what I'd recommend doing is restart your computer. Now keep in mind if your computer's been turning on and off a lot, you might have a disk check scan or check disk scan running. So just keep that in mind. It might take a little bit of time to restart your computer. And again, you know what, I just realized something that I have to click on exit again because we just left the disk part utility, but now if you want to get out of this window, I'm going to hit exit again, or type exit, and then I'm going to hit enter. And again, you can always close out at the top right corner, it doesn't really matter. And then underneath choose an option, you can just turn off your PC, and then I'd recommend restarting it, and you should be good to go. And I hope this brief tutorial helped you guys out, and I will catch you in the next video. Goodbye.